In this quick video guide, we're going to see how we can use Crea AI to generate images and we can start with uh, our product visualization. We're going to talk more about product visualization and how to enhance our renderings and uh, our visuals. So these are some generation that I've been doing here. I have uploaded an image from Twinmotion that I created a rendering uh, of a product. With, I picked uh, just a shoe. And then here I uploaded that rendering and I started to prompt some text and uh, indications. Now down here you have kind of a, the percentage of the, uh, ima the usage that you want to do with the image. So you can drag this up or down. And the more you drag it up, the more it's going to take from the image you upload. The more you're going to drag it down, the less. So here you can see that um, I'm having different results, pretty different from the previous ones, because I have I increase the level of um, uh, the image that I want to that I uploaded. Now I created this image uh, in the three motion video course. I, where I talk about product design, but also interior design and visualization, arc visualization, so arc bees, prod bees, uh, interiors, exteriors, environments, products, automotive visualization, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So Twinmotion is essentially a software used for visualization and rendering. And these are some shoes that you will find in Twinmotion and just change the material. So you can use Twinmotion for materials, for lighting, and for rendering. But um, you can also try to enhance and create or fix or adjust or you know uh, put some details there using some AI applications like Crea. And in this video, uh, I created another video guide using interior and exterior but in this video I want to do product design product visualization so these are all uh, generated images that I've been doing here in Crea generating and um, again I've used a snapshot from the Twinmotion video course you can upload any image to use as a reference and then you can increase or decrease the level of um, um, intensity the, of that image that you want to use and I also put some prompt like I want some a cyberpunk effect. You can change the graphics, you can change whatever. So this one here, it looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna download this, which is not so far from the original image, but adds some details and some lights. So I'm gonna save this. You can download the image, you can upload in Crea. So I'm gonna call this Crea AI Prod Viz. Gonna save it and I wanna use it later in another tool. So this one here is called Flux and is the AI generator, so where you can add an image. So down here you can click and add the image you want. And again, these are all snapshots from the Twin Motion video course. If you're interested, you'll find it in the channel. You'll find also other video guys on rendering and also AI. So you click upload the image, define the the percentage of that that you want to use. So this is a really low and you can see it's not similar to the image that I uploaded. But again, you can go on and try and generate more and more. Uh, also created like a car with a shoe or the shoe with a car, something like that, kind of mix and match things up. So um, if I go to Enhance on the top toolbar, you'll find the Enhance button. This is where you can upload images you can click on the plus, or you can just click and drag and drop. And I'm going to drop the original render from Twinmotion, which is again a snapshot of the software. This is the one I just downloaded from Crea. I don't want to use that. I want to use the original first, which is going to be here in this snapshot somewhere. And there you go. These are all the snapshots of the course. There it is. So this is the image, which is less than 15. When I use the three motion shoe and then I change some materials, I change some of the, uh, it's, it's less than about materials and product visualization. So you can also click and drag directly. And now we are in the announce process. So you can choose the resolution, the new resolution you want to apply. So you can increase the number of pixels. You can upscale, meaning that you can add more details, add more um, realism. You can do more realistic images with this. 
It's also going to add and remove like random things from that. So you can only use it as a refinement. You can only use it as a, a brainstorming tool at the moment. So it's, um, it's going to change things. So sometimes it's going to change it too much. Now, this is the before and after. So left side is the before. Right side is the after. You can click and drag this line to see the, dif the differences. So you can see that it removed a lot of effects that were in the previous shoe and like cleaned up a little bit and added some other things uh, elsewhere. So sometimes it could be good, again, to generate some variance and maybe give you more ideas. Some other times it's going to be a little bit too, uh, let's say, overwhelming. So it's going to like remove and add stuff to its own uh, liking, you know, in a way. Now I want to use the, the image that I have generated starting from this. And there you go. I use the, the flux generator. So I'm going to upload this. I'm going to do another test. So this one here has been not totally, but like 50% generated by the artificial intelligence, 50% from the tree motion rendering application. And so it's going to be, as we're going to see, probably it's going to be less precise. It's going to have less details than the one that we just render out of to emotion directly. So with this one here, there you go. We can definitely use the announcer. So you can see how much is announcing is changing the little details of the shoe is making it more realistic. You can see also the neon lights at the bottom, kind of a cyberpunk effect, and also is changing the the bottom of the shoe and everything. Everything looks more realistic. So here it definitely makes a, a good job if you compare it to the previous one. It's also taking part of the re the three motion interface. It's just change it, but we don't need that. We can also crop that out. And then we have other tools in um, in Kriya, like we can edit images. We can uh, we, we also saw some of these tools in a previous video guide. So I'm just going to go here. This is the asset. This is where you can find everything you create. So if you want to go back, you can select one of these. You can start generating again, start enhancing again until you get the perfect result. And this will be all for this video guide. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated. If you want to support us, thank us. You can join the channel as a supporter. Check the other video guides about AI, artificial intelligence, and also our courses on rendering, modeling, and much, much more. Thanks for watching. See you in the next.